And welcome back to Rockets Insider. Starting next week, we're going to look back at some of the best Rockets plays of the year, so we're looking forward to that. You know, when the Rockets brought Kevin Martin over in the big trade, all we really knew about Martin was that he could score pretty much on anybody, and a lot of fans felt like, you know, that's all we really need to know. But, as usual, we wanted a little bit more, so thrown into the deal, we got our hands on some footage that his former team, the Sacramento Kings, shot of Kevin over the past few summers. Well, here now is a look at his hometown, his college days, and how he made an entire community proud when he was drafted into the NBA. Kevin Martin's crib. <laughs> Ken Martin's old kid. But yeah, that's when I really started developing into a basketball player. Right there. How old were you then? That was my kindergarten picture. The Steve Nash. Yeah, this is um my sophomore year in college. Yeah, that's cool. Meeting Steve. Got bored one summer and um, just started putting stuff on the wall. This is one of the most inspirational letters right here. Came from my um, assistant coach. At the end of my freshman year, he said, you keep working hard on your game. He said, your name will be called by David Stern on draft night. And it happened. Gainesville has about 28,000 people. We are just bursting at the seams with progress right now. Years ago, I mean, Gainesville was, you know, a town and found on in industry. This is the Wide Ridge City. It's the most known icon on the old national trail, which is Route 40. Most people are like laid back and um, just like your normal nine to five family town. It's a great place, like if you got kids, because like everybody you're going to run into is like usually friendly, and everybody communicates well around here. They was known for pottery. Pottery. Friendly people. Very. Everybody's very friendly. You know, it's a very peaceful place. We're the biggest uh, Martin family, I guess, in Gainesville. That's just a, a good family that he's coming from. They come from, uh, uh, they're, they're not wealthy people, you know. They came uh, and worked their way for everything they got. Both of my boys, I started them off in baseball. They played baseball, football, and basketball. He's a good pitcher in baseball. He pitched a one-hitter. He's a leadoff batter and played football, quarterback, wide receiver. Well, when he was a little boy, he started playing basketball over at the Cutman Hill Park. Um, his dad used to coach him in Little League Basketball, him and his cousin. This is my first shot out here in like 10 years. I think I'll be able to make it. Oh, still got him. One for one. My book's out. And a lot of those guys, they used to all play pickup ball together. When Kevin was just a little kid, he was always the last one to pick among all these guys because he was so small and whatever. I think that really, as he got older, I think it really drove him to do better. When I used to come here by myself, this was the, um, this was like court where you, um, your imagination, like, you're playing like Jordan or like Magic Johnson, like 5-4, and you 5-4, come down and try to hit a two with like three seconds left or something. Western Carolina came in, I'd never seen him play, watched him on uh, video a little bit, and said, we're going to sign the kid, which is very rare that that happens, and then obviously the rest is history. Shy, always wanted to go home. Every weekend, Kevin would drive home. Every weekend. From North Carolina to Ohio. When he went to Western Carolina, I had a lot of people tease me because it was like an eight-hour drive. And they always said, well, you ain't never missed a home game in three years. The freshman year, he was 22nd in the nation in scoring. So that, that right there, to be 22nd in the nation, um, that's, that's something phenomenal. He was 10th in the nation as a uh, sophomore, and then as a junior, he was 2nd in the nation. He was first most of the season. He lost the first the last couple weeks of the season. Seriously, I've been proud of the kid since, since day one. You know, to come in and be a freshman and take responsibilities like, like he did, you know, he, in a sense, you know, he carried our team. The Sacramento Kings select Kevin Morton. <laughs> I'll never forget that day as long as I live. I mean, I don't care if I'm, I can be president someday, and I'll never forget how I felt when he got drafted. I was. I'm walking toward the sign that my girlfriend made um, when he became a Sacramento King, and I just think it's beautiful. Truthfully, in Kevin's college bylaws, 
he, they asked him who's his favorite team, and it was the Sacramento Kings. They sent his college book. You know, the fact that just seeing that many people happy for him, that really proved to me how much he really meant to people.